Hi, Steve. Uh, today I'm talking about the, the experience I'm using uh, the stripes. Um, uh, for the cameras, like the, now the mirrors, I, I love to using the waist strap. But uh, the strap we're going to use, we have a state, like a few to choose from. Uh, this is the ones much easier. Uh, like like a compact cameras that I took off from uh, the Canon cameras I used to have. Uh, um, so I I can use this things. Uh, the point and shoot compact ones much easier for for the mirrorless cameras now I carry around. And what's the benefits on this one is they they using a fly break uh, loops right here. So once I put it on, it's much easier and. It's really secure because you now the cameras are small and light. They don't need a huge buckle to secure the cameras, uh, unless you got a, a pro professional DSLR with a huge like seventy to two hundred two point uh, two point eight lens uh, like like that. It's huge ones, and and you need something to secure your camera. Otherwise, for the mirrorless, uh, something like a like a range finder cameras, this kind of strap is really really easy to use. And the flybird ones won't scratch the body, and this is one of the benefits. Because uh, because nowadays, if you using a something like with the buckle like this, make sure you have their protections, uh, leather protections like this one. Because that one is hold on the on on the strap lugs right here and put it on like this. So whatever you carry, it protect your camera like that way. So uh, uh, this. Another good idea, but watch out for the metal parts like this. And sometimes, if you carry around the camera like this, they, it, this part going around, it may scratch your cameras. And unless you like the cameras look scratched, you know, if somebody like it. Otherwise, this is really good uh, to protect it. But watch out on those things. Um, uh, this is the hand strap I like, but mostly they come with uh, the metal loop on this one. Uh, they, uh, someone's probably put an O ring on it. Uh, simple o-ring it it helps I don't have it right here but so you can find in a hardware store a o-ring like for the seal for their for their um, for their hose uh, or like water pumping departments you can find a tiny o-ring you can put it here and you can put the strap with the metal loop and or, or, or uh, to over there um, th uh, this is what I already took off I want to show it in a demo um, or you can find it find something like this is usually put it on here and and web your metal loop like that but metal loops is some, has lots of problems because they 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 are the main reason to scratch at the camera's corner right here so uh, another idea uh, I using a cable tie like this the small cable tie you can find in a uh, dollar shop or, or, or hardware shops um, and this is easy to use you know um, it just replace your metal loop like this, take this off right here, uh, tie this one, and put it on the strap lock like this. You know what? It's very secure. You know, I carry heavy, he uh, heavy things for my case, a huge case, heavy case. Uh, I got a broken pass of the handle. I use this one to replace those uh, like a metal buckle, and I use it for years. It has no problem. This is very secure. Um, I know it is looks plastic doesn't look professional looks good but believe it or not this this things stay so good and 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 very secure so you see this is chop this off and now you got a strap like this and much easier to handle and uh, it won't scratch the body um, and this is a good idea, I think. Um, I suggest you guys, okay, if you don't want to using this kind of metal pass and, and lots of metal pass like this, probably scratch your camera body, using this kind of cable tie and it's really good enough. I uh, I think this is even heavy enough to carry DSLR gear because I got a bigger case for another kind of equipment for the show equipment and, and I I use this for, for replacing the handle but but not the small one like this. I got a thicker one. So this is this is the one I use is for the cable tie. It's it's good uh, to secure the camera enough. I hope this information can help you guys. And thank you.